Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous hot summer day here in February. Good Lord. Hugging right up against 90 degrees here on Saturday, February 27th, 2021. So uh, I got to take the little dog on a walk and hope we don't die of die of heat stroke here in February in this undisclosed swamp. But before I head out, uh, what's it going to be today? I want to thank Brother Zibnecker. Never known how to pronounce your name. We'll call you Brother Z. For uh, I've received several versions of this story, but I like the uh, spin that Politico uh, has done on this one. This is our latest uh, United Nations Keystone Cops. Uh, <laughs> That the UN is getting quite entertaining. What is the UN up to this week? UN climate chief slams incredible failure as emissions plans flatline. And yes, another incredible failure for the human race. Is it airboat or drone out there? Promises ahead of global climate sum summit are simply not good enough, says Patricia Espinosa. Okay, Patricia, you tell us what's on your mind, girl. A recent dump. I, 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 I love Politico's uh, clever wording. A recent dump of new national climate plans will do almost nothing to cut emissions this decade, a report from the UN said Friday. Out of 191 countries that signed the Paris Agreement, just 75 of the 191 have met a UN deadline to submit their climate plans by the end of last year. The UN climate body has looked, has toted up the cumulative effects of those new pledges, which cover around a third of global emissions and found that those countries would emit a grand total of 2.8 percent less in 2030 than under the old plans. All right, we have gone down 2.8 percent with the 75 out of 191 countries. UN Climate Chief Patricia Espinoza said the efforts were, quote, simply not good enough. We have, we have a PO to UN Climate Chief. It's incredible to think that just when nations are facing an emergency that could eventually end human life on this planet. Despite every study, every report, and the clear warnings from scientists throughout the world, many nations are sticking to their business as usual approach. Hmm, do you think so? Uh, said Espinoza, whose official title is Executive Secretary of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. What a job to have in the year 2021. The new pledges are part of an international effort to align national commitments with the goals of the Paris Climate Agreement to hold warming below two degrees and ideally below one and a half degrees Celsius huh? ahead of the COP26 conference in November. Yes. Existing pledges set the world on track to heat by around three degrees Celsius. Yes, so uh, I don't know. You, you know, you you guys wouldn't be able to see this this graph. You, you know, the target versus <laughs> the, the the target 
versus reality even well we'll see if we can uh, <laughs> this, this is your old Luddite uh, this is the UN's already ridiculous this target still means we're going to at least three degrees C but this if you can see that upper line that is where we're scoring on the on the target here six years after Paris we have <laughs> that, that is the progress we have made okay anything over two degrees warming poses an existential risk to low-lying island states yes such as uh, my yard for instance uh, here where on this 90 degree February day <clears throat> This is Aubrey Webson, uh, ambassador from Antigua. We must hold every country accountable for this damning report. Yes, the U.S. recently rejoined the Paris Agreement and the world applauded. The, the one good thing uh, the, the, the one good thing Donald Trump did uh, in four years getting us out of the UN agreement but uh, anyway yes the world applauded now we need them meaning us meaning the US meaning us to continue to showcase real climate leadership other large emitters that have not yet made pledges must do so immediately. So what did UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said? This is Espinoza's boss. He said the report, quote, is a red alert for our planet. Yes, it is. Many countries delayed their submission after COP25 was postponed by a year due to the corona panic. Among the four largest polluters, only the EU has submitted a new 2030 target. The U.S. said the U.S. this week said it would submit a new plan at a climate summit to be hosted by President Joe Biden on Earth Day uh, in April. Yes, China has indicated it intends to change its target from around 2030 to before 2030. India has not yet committed to setting a new goal. Yes. So what is uh, COP26? The COP26 hosts in the UK raised their goal from 40% to a 68% drop by 2030 from 1990 levels. Yes. Uh, even with some quote really very, very ambitious plans. Espinoza said the new goals means the emissions of the 75 countries would fall by a whopping 0 0.5 percent between 2010 and 2030. If planetary warming is to hold below one and a half degrees a level of relative safety compared to catastrophe at two degrees or more the the i the ipcc has has said a drop of 45 percent is required over that 20-year time period for all countries so don't even get me going off on that uh, 10 what they call here mid to large emitters have submitted new goals but not raised their ambitions 
from the plans they put forward, you know, in the 2015 agreement, which of course, uh, if if we do the 2015 agreement, even the UN is saying we're going to fly past one and a half and two degrees C. Um, let's see. Uh, speaking with journalists, Espinoza said governments that had already made their submissions should go back and really look at look at very very carefully what you are able to offer yes uh, I need your utmost ambition I need your utmost effort I need you I need your transformational decisions the Mexican diplomat said in a direct plan to all governments I need you to put in place a very concrete plan to phase out fossil fuels as fast as possible. All right, New Zealand. New Zealand has said it is awaiting advice from its Climate Change Commission in 2021 and may submit an updated target. What is the population of New Zealand? New Zealand I think it's about 4 million people. The UN report noted that more governments were taking account of the need to plan for the impacts of climate change. They also increasingly acknowledged the need to soften the blow to workers and communities most affected by the transition to clean energy. Uh, I should go off on a rant on that, but I need to wrap this up. Still, Espinoza said, too few countries had plans that would avert dangerous warming. Said the UN climate chief, quote, we are collectively wandering into a minefield blindfolded. The next step could mean disaster. There you go. Thank you, UN Climate Chief. And now that I have finished my sweaty uh, February 27th <sighs> Chronicle of the Collapse, we need to go unload a truck full of firewood and take this little dog on a walk. Get out there and enjoy your 90 degree February days while you still can in this minefield blindfolded you wouldn't go walk through a minefield blindfolded little dog who's up i do want to go walk through a minefield blindfolded <laughs>